was better, Drake's or Kendrick's? Drake. It's Drake. Kendrick for sure. He's just disrespectful. Drake's too nice. Kendrick wasn't bad, but it wasn't Drake's. Neither. J. Cole's. The go, Kendrick Lamar. He hates the way he talks, the way he dresses, the way he acts. Right. I'm not sure. It's toss up. Kendrick. Drake is more influential. Bar for bar, Kendrick better. Salute, guys, and welcome to the Nosy Ninja News Network, guys, where we learn how not to be a dummy from some well-paid dummies. Guys, and we got a little clip from something that we, we a topic that we touched on a while ago. Remember when we first originally brought this beef to light and I told you guys that Lil Wayne knew that um Drake slept with his uh, ex-girlfriend? So um, for some weird reason, Everybody acting like that is new news now, and that's trending. So let's reiterate that, and let's go back over that, guys. Lil Wayne confirms Drake lost against Kendrick Lamar, and he is not to be trusted. Let's get straight on into that, guys. Now, when Drake came, he gave you bad news. <laughs> Tell me how that went. Like, did he was like, man, I'm sorry. You know, like, did he break it to you lightly or you just like went straight in with it? Man, I, where, where's the camera? <laughs> I, and please, anybody that know me real well, when you see this and you know whatever, please tweet and vouch for me. I have a very, very, very terrible memory and i swear to god i don't know what y'all talking about <laughs> i just did like three four in, in, interviews and i just kept it moving like yeah yeah drake yeah so, so I, for clarification I that did not what, it may not have happened it whatever it was it happened i just got a bad ass memory so you don't know who the girl was uh, or... what are we talking about that first of so all. apparently in, in the book there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls oh your girl. and he yes. well, oh i wasn't worried about that I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know i was just you know that's just how life goes when you locked up yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. But she's done. You moved on. Life is good. Life is good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a, a song? Maybe you two might, you know. No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. They stop texting me too. For real. Because it still hurt. Does it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you now I remember though. Yeah, he rapped. I don't know who he rapped. Hey, I don't know. Were you in jail though? Even yo, yo, side, 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 side is your main. And <laughs> when you in jail, I, I can talk to you yeah, all day. when you in jail, it could be somebody when you was when you was out of jail, you ain't never text her back. You ain't call her when she called you. You couldn't tell what you couldn't tell her what color her hair was. That's how much you ain't see it. But when you in jail, whew, if she don't answer that phone when you call, Lord. Have Just to retract, you are Tammy Torres. Yes. Um, you were the one Lil Wayne wrote about that while he was in jail, had a little fling with Drake. See, okay, first, I just got back into the country. I don't know what Wayne is talking about, but if he does decide to come out with whatever, you know, I would have the real story. Which, I would have to say the real story. Well, I mean, we, I mean, I'm cameras here. I'm oh, here. absolutely, but it would, it would be at a better time. Not right well, now. Is, is there anything you can tell us? Do you like? Do you prefer the company of Drake over Lil uh, Wayne or Lil Wayne over I, Drake? That, that would be the story that we would talk about. <laughs> we would get more in detail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> With everything. Hold on, before we get started, that's them whole secrets that I be talking about. That's them whole secrets, bro. They are they are raised and designed and conditioned to bury and go to take them whole secrets to the grave, bro. That's going on between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Fans are going into investigative mode, trying to uncover more dirt between the two to try and find out who the real winner in this battle really is. And one bar that stood out to some fans was the one where Kendrick- So crazy, guys. It's, it's absolutely madness right now, yo. People starting to dig in. 
people is, sh- is taking it upon themselves to shoot at other people's houses and put other people at risk. It is dangerous, y'all. I see why J. Cole gracefully bowed out. Threw shots at Drake for having had slept with one of Wayne's girls while he was in jail. The reason why this is relevant is because Kendrick mentioned it on the Not Like Us track by making fun of him for doing such a thing and then going on to get Wayne's face tattooed on his arm shortly after. And as you all know, Lil Wayne founded Drake back in the day. So he's a sort of mentor to Drake. So him doing such a thing has some fans questioning Drake's true nature, especially since so many people in the industry are coming out to say that they have beef with him. I never told Wayne this. That changed my perspective about work ethic. You got the verse in the I'm just not gonna rush it. I, don't, I respect it too hard. I'm not gonna rush it. Knocked out about 12 verses, and this is feature Wayne at the moment. I and mean, he's not no motherfucking fly by night verses. This is set right there and thought out right in front of your face and smashing him. And he's excited about it. And he's loving music and he loves what he's doing. That gave me a whole nother appreciation. And we took that same intensity and that work ethic and we applied it moving forward. In an old resurfaced interview, Kendrick is talking about how much of an influence Lil Wayne had been to his career, specifically in regards to his work ethic and his genuine love for music. Another resurfaced interview with Lil Wayne has also resurfaced where he's talking about Drake's position in the rap world. Wayne goes on about the type of advice he gave Drake where he told him to stick to his own style and to not try and imitate him. I was the one to tell him, don't change anything. Don't think because you're coming over here by me that you got to start rapping about the things I rap about. Don't do none of that. Please rap about your little TV show, whatever you want to rap about. (laughs) How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? Rap about girls. Do that. That's what you're good at. I was like, I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. Don't, don't change anything. Don't start singing about killing nobody. Don't start singing about the streets. Yeah, talk about what you know. Yeah, yeah, just like keep it Canadian, man. <laughs> <laughs> 50 Cent reacted to Drake's Family Matters on Instagram, praising the Toronto rapper for taking aim at Kendrick Lamar yet again. 50 said in the post, I told you leave him alone. Now he's spinning on all y'all. Everybody must die. Kendrick is always going to be a media dog. Mm. And I told him, I said, because you, he has the ability to make you believe he had no idea this was going to happen. Mm. Like, I look at him and I go, no, nah, you can't do that to me. Right, right. Like, I know. <laughs> you knew what the, you was working. Right. You worked on it and it and it paid off. Don't act like you didn't know it was going to happen. And he's like, because he like, he'll be like, yo. <laughs> Wow, like that energy is right. there. <laughs> and like... On Monday morning, May 6th, The Breakfast Club shared their thoughts about Drake and Kendrick's latest diss tracks. Charlemagne agreed that K-Dot served up plenty of bars on 616 in LA, and the entire crew all agreed, Not Like Us was a vibe regardless of the disrespectful lyrics. Charlemagne said Kendrick is in the lead due to his release strategy, but DJ Envy disagreed and sided with Drake. Right, that's mm-hmm. just my personal opinion, but if you ask me who's up right now, it's Kendrick, and it's simply because his strategy has been better. He dropped a 616 record Friday afternoon, which caused Drake to drop Family Matters Friday night in no less than 30 minutes. Kendrick stepped on that record with his own record about Drake's family meets the gram. Then Kendrick turned around and did what we was waiting on Drake to do, and that's give us a diss bop. Yeah, so I, I got to yeah. say Kendrick is up See, right now. See, I don't, I don't agree with you. See, I was... I was Put your life No, you it's, it's not at all. Bang, I, was, I, was actually, I was actually going with Kendrick until I heard Drake's record last night. Then I had to think about it. There have been a ton of other reactions from the hip-hop community. Metro Boomin let the world know how he felt about Drake's records by dropping his own diss beat called BBL Drizzy and inviting all artists to spit their own verse over it. I agree. Metro is on Twitter saying, hey, Drake, you know that I can't say whatever our real problem is because both of us are going to look crazy. Rick Ross, who's been offering plenty of commentary about Drizzy since he dropped Champagne Moments, thinks Drake and his alleged ghostwriter should have put more thought into his latest response, The Heart Part 6. I just want to make this clear. White boy, they said you said if you was f***ing young girls, you promised you would have been a best. Whoever wrote that for you should have put more thought into that. White boy, I'm, it's your writers. I 
Whatever message you translated to them, that wasn't the way they were supposed to do that. And as a writer, when it comes to pay, you got to remove yourself from that. Right, but that wasn't the, the line right there. Ice Cube even jumped in to put his two cents in. He also explained the differences between... Meat curved. Every day, you're... No, it's crazy, guys. You know, it's crazy when Ice Cube stepped in. When Ice Cube was known for the rap battle, he had a couple of rap battles. Shit, Ice Cube battled Tupac. Y'all go check it out on the on the on the channel, guys. Ice Cube definitely dis. He had a little mini war while Tupac was going at it with the East Coast. He was also battling Ice Cube and the West Side Connection. Y'all go check it out. Rap beef today versus rap beef in the 90s. He went on about how he knows how serious this rap beef is and hopes no one ends up getting killed because of it. So you, you always have to be careful that a beef doesn't turn into uh, a murder. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, you do a diss record, but it would stay kind of somewhat in the hip hop community. Now, um, it's, it's all over the world, all walks of life, you know what, what's going on. And, you know, some people can't really take that kind of uh, humiliation. I don't really like seeing rappers beef. I don't think it, it's, it's necessary to have a, 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 a great career, but it happens. Hey, it's part of the game. And I think when you're in a beef, you, you can't really hold back it's like being in a fight you can't really half punch you gotta go all yeah. the way joe rogan even had his own opinion on this situation and warned that things could potentially get ugly between the two because of how deep things were starting to get to think that the rappers can't shoot each other today is crazy i know but i don't want them to they're so fucking yeah. they're so not tough because like what i like about tupac and biggie they were fucking real man not to say that drake and kendrick didn't come up i'm sure kendrick's from Compton. he's probably seen some fucking shit but what he raps about is that he's a, literally a good kid from this mad city drake raps about how he's this sensitive guy who just wants to fall in love you know what i mean like you can't put those words back in a bottle Joe Budden has also doubled down on his thoughts, saying that he thinks Drake lost the war because of how many people are stepping up to diss him. The industry is sending a clear cut message that you have won out your welcome. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes. This is not a Kendrick just West Coast mm -hmm. thing. That's what I'm saying. And he is the right so, person but, to deliver that message for us. Yeah, Kendrick, is. they just went and tapped somebody on the shoulder like Big Dog. Go, right. help, yeah, help. That's Too much one. fabric. All right, so we had Drake versus Meek Mill. A lot of people were tweeting that to me. We kind of know the outcome of that. But if Drake and Kendrick Lamar got in a rap battle, who do you think would win? You got to go with Kendrick. I'm just saying. I I, I think Drake is 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 uh, an outstanding entertainer, but Kendrick, his lyrics, his last album was outstanding. Excellent. All right. Best uh, best album I think uh, last year. Thanks so much for your time, Mr. President. Now that's crazy when Obama, when Barack Obama, who was so-called a hip hop head, he picked Kendrick. Guys, I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer. Y'all know what to do: like, share, subscribe, wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly, and do not play with your life, guys. We do this for the culture, guys.